Les verbes du troisième groupe, and we'll see more precisely in this video how to conjugate the verbs that are ending with this ire thing. So ir, okay, and uh, we'll see that basically they are quite tricky to conjugate. Okay, so let's start the right now, and I thought that it would be more logical to put them, sorry, in two groups, and the first one is actually and logically. I-R-E, and the second one, we are talking about the verbs that will end with O-I-R-E, war, or then A-I-R-E, air. All right? Um, my advice for this video is actually to uh, probably make a list on your own and try to learn them by heart, because it will be the only way to uh, actually remember them. Okay? But then let's start with the first group, I-R-E. So the first verb that we'll see is lire, and lire means to read, okay? So, je lis, tu lis, il lit, elle lit, nous lisons, vous lisez, ils lisent, elles lisent. All right, so, je lis, tu lis, il lit, okay, so... Same form here, phonetical form, but then it's S at the end, S and then T. Then you will get nous lisons, vous lisez, ils lisent. Okay, so this one honestly is not that tricky, so that's the reason why I wanted to start with this one. Let's see now the second one. And it's dire, and dire means to say. Je dis... Tu dis, il dit, elle dit. Nous disons, vous dites, and now you can see the tricky thing here. So it's not vous disiez, okay, as many would think, but then it's vous dites, okay, final S not pronounced, vous dites. Ils disent, elles disent. All right, so let's see that one more time. Je dis... Tu dis, il dit, elle dit. So basically here it's not that difficult because I'm pretty sure that most of you would actually, without knowing that, try to conjugate it and put, put these forms. Okay, so je dis, tu dis, il dit, elle dit. Then nous disons. So, so far it's actually quite logical. But this is the tricky thing here. Vous dites. Okay, so remember that, well, in most of the cases uh, at the beginning, you will say, vous disiez, okay, and it's quite interesting because French kids normally, when they start to learn the language, they don't use this vous dites, but then they make this logical mistake, vous disiez, okay, but it's actually vous dites, and then ils, elles disent. Third verb is Écrire, écrire is to write. And then, j'écris, tu écris, il écrit, elle écrit. Same thing here, it's really easy, okay? It's getting normally tricky at the plural form. Nous écrivons, and this is the strange thing here, you get to put this V here. Écrivons, okay? But then you keep the logic, in a way, vous écrivez, okay, so V is coming here as well, and it will be here for the plural form as well, okay, ils écrivent, elles écrivent, all right, so, j'écris, tu écris, il écrit, elle écrit, nous écrivons, vous écrivez, ils écrivent, elles écrivent. So keep in mind that for écrire, actually, the tricky thing will be to put this V for the plural form. Rire. And it's to laugh. Je ris. Tu ris. Il rit. Elle rit. Nous rions. And this is a tricky thing, nothing between I e and O. Rions, vous riez, il rit, elle rit. And keep in mind that here, at the end, 
Okay, you've got this E and T, but if you remember, because I've been talking about that quite many times, you don't pronounce this final E and T, and so phonetically you get the sound RI, okay, exactly like you have here, RI, 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 okay, so and then here, RION, RIE, okay, so you get JE RI, TU RI, IL RI, Elle rit, nous rions, vous riez, il rit, elle rit. So now comes the second subgroup. Okay, we're talking about the verbs ending with war or air. And so for the first verb, I decided to take plaire, and plaire is to please. Je plais, tu plais, il plaît, elle plaît. Have a look here. Accent circonflexe for il and elle, but not for tu and not for je. Okay. Nous plaisons, vous plaisez, ils plaisent, elles plaisent. And that's normally the tricky thing because in many situations, Persons or students will put air here because they are logic and <laughs> in a way French language can be quite strange. So basically you will have to put S here. But then the good news is that it's coming also for vous and then for il, elle. Okay, so this is the tricky thing here. But then je plais, tu plais, il plaît, elle plaît. Well, this circumflex also. Nous plaisons. Vous plaisez, il plaise, elle plaise. Faire is quite useful and we use this verb quite often in French because it means to do. Okay, so let's see how we will conjugate it. Je fais, tu fais, il fait, elle fait. Nous faisons, vous faites, ils font, elles font. Okay, so this one is a tricky one. Well, basically, if you think about je, tu, il and elle, well, this is not really tricky and this is quite easy to make because phonetically it's fait, fait, fait. And then for the endings, it's quite logical, s, s, t like we have normally for the third group, okay? Now, nous is actually quite strange because even if, of course, you put this S here and in a way it's a surprise, but then the most difficult thing that you should uh, keep in mind is uh, the way you will pronounce it because you don't pronounce it E as normally you should, but you will pronounce it like E. Uh. Nous faisons. Okay, it's really f, f, f. Nous faisons. Okay, you see it with e, but then you pronounce it f. Nous faisons. So this is the first difficulty. And the second one is here, because if you look, it's a bit like we had for dire previously. Actually, you don't have this faisé. Huh? If you would be logical, uh, it would go like that. But then it's fait. Okay, so keep in mind these two things are actually quite tricky. The first one here for pronunciation, nous faisons, and the second one here because you write it like that and it's not vous faisiez but vous faites. Okay, and then ils font, elles font. So just for one more time, je fais, tu fais, il fait, elle fait. Nous faisons, vous faites. Ils font, elles font. Okay? This one is important because we use it quite often in French. We've got many expressions that are uh, combined or constructed with faire. Okay? So keep in mind that uh, it goes like that. Faisons and then faites. Mm -hmm. Croire. Croire is to believe and it's quite useful as well. So, je crois. Tu crois, il croit, elle croit, 
And now you've got this Y here. And the sound goes like nous croyons. Okay? Croyons. Vous croyez. And last but not least, look. Il croit. Elle croit. And phonetically here, as we saw, E and T is not pronounced, so you get the sound croix. Exactly the same sound as we've got here. Croix, croix, and then croix. Okay, so one more time. Je crois, tu crois, il croit, elle croit, nous croyons, vous croyez, il croit, elle croit. Okay, so keep in mind that here, when you get this Y and two vowels, one before, one after, it will be like ye ye ye. So you combine it with O first, you will get croyons, croyons. And here, croyez, croyez. Okay? Boire, and boire is to drink. So it's quite useful. You do that every day, or then at least you should. Je bois, tu bois, il boit, elle boit. And this is the tricky one. Nous buvons, vous buvez, ils boivent, elles boivent. Okay, so same thing here. If you look carefully, you've got, well, the three different stems so bois here so it will be actually quite easy at the singular so je bois tu bois il bois okay then for nous and vous you've got this stem so b u v then you put the ending buvons then buvez and for il elle we've got a third stem or root and it's b o i v and you put the ending a n t okay so you get Je bois, tu bois, il boit, elle boit, nous buvons, vous buvez, ils boivent, elles boivent.